I'm standing next to probably the most common shrub in all of North America, the creosote bush. About 21 million acres of California is covered with this plant. And right now it's in full flower. You can hear the honeybees working them. The little fuzz balls, the little white fuzz balls are the fruits. This plant is remarkable for a number of reasons. One is in San Bernardino County, they found what they called the king clone. This is a clump of creosote bushes that forms a great big circle. Scientists believe that the ancestor of this clonal group of creosote bushes started growing at the end of the last ice age 11,500 years ago, making it by far the oldest plant on the planet. The other thing is at ground zero in Nevada, there were 20 of these creosote bushes that were obliterated by the blast. 19 of them returned. And this plant can tolerate parts of the desert where no other plant can grow. Sometimes if you're flying over the desert, you can look and it looks like everybody's kind of been spaced out like some great landscaper has been organizing all the plants. And that's usually creosote bush. Creosote bushes actually um, practice chemical warfare. They send out germination inhibitors around them to prevent some plants from germinating. This is only in environments that's, that are tough. Right now you can see there's a mesquite growing right there. There's an iodine bush over there. There's a black banded rabbit brush over there. So these conditions got plenty of water. But in places where they're under stress, no other plant except for one called burrow bush can associate with creosote bushes. Pretty amazing plant. Keep up the good work.